A police chase ending in a, a very dramatic way. It ended with a crash and it sent two people to the hospital. The chief of police in St. Albans says pursuits like this one obviously can be very sure. dangerous. News Channel 3's Alex Jackson spoke with the chief about the factors that officers consider before they start a pursuit. A St. Albans police officer and a motorcyclist are recovering today after a pursuit ended in a crash. The crash was reported just before 7 Tuesday night. Police say the pursuit was a result of a motorcyclist traveling at a high rate of speed around the loop of Kanawha Terrace. The officer then noticed the motorcycle did not have proper registration. During the pursuit, the motorcycle started to lose control and the officer swerved out of the way to avoid hitting the driver, crashing into a ditch. The chief of police for St. Albans says pursuits like this one are not taken lightly and officers consider several factors before initiating one. We have to try to determine in a short amount of time why this individual is fleeing and what are the pros and cons of this actual pursuit and trying to take somebody into custody. Gilbert says officers don't want to put other civilians at risk during a pursuit. Supervisors are frequently asking for updates on speed uh, if there's any dangers to society and at that point we'll make determinations whether to continue the pursuit or, or call off the pursuit. Gilbert says crashes are the last thing police want to happen, but encourages drivers to pull over when they are stopped by police. We don't want to see anybody get hurt, including the, the fleeing individual. If, if they pull over, uh, pursuits don't occur. This investigation is now being handled by West Virginia State Police. In St. Albans, Alex Jackson, WSAZ News Channel 3. Right now, we have no update on the suspect and the charges they may eventually face in the pursuit, but we can tell you that the officer and the motorcyclist are expected to be okay.